Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how can you fast with medical issues? So, for a lot of you, you have, you're dealing with medical issues in your body and it's preventing you from fasting. So, whether you have thyroid problems, if you're a diabetic, um, maybe you have high blood pressure, whatever the case may be, here's the thing, understand, number one, fasting is where you will receive your healing. Any disease that is attacking your body, that's a spirit of infirmity, okay? So I know the doctors told you, you know, it's high blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid, you might have hyper or hypo thyroid, whatever the doctors told you, you the root spirit of infirmity, okay? Which enter in through generational curses, or maybe it's a curse um, that came from your own actions, okay? Um, this is why I talk a lot about breaking generational curses this is why i talk a lot about making sure you are living an obedient life because disobedience opens the door to curses read deuteronomy 28 under uh curses for disobedience when you understand how to curse enter when you read Deuteronomy 28 up under curses for disobedience and you see the curse of inflammation, the curse of fever, when you see, um, it, it's more, it's like boils, you know, um, you just got to read it. When you see and understand the same thing that's listed out in the Bible and how it's showing up in your body, it gives you revelation that my body is being, is coming up under attack because of my disobedience or the disobedience from my ancestors so now i gotta do what isaiah 58 say i gotta do that fast and i have to allow god to use me to be the repair of the breach okay so that's when you got to go through that process of repenting for your sins repenting for your ancestor sin you know breaking the curse off of your life that when your body is being attacked by sickness and disease heart heart um you know um heart problems, uh, thyroid issues, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, et cetera, et cetera, cancer, depression, that spirit of infirmity that's attacking your body, okay? And so, you, we break these things, you get your deliverance from these things in fasting, okay? And so, don't allow your medical issues to stop you or keep you from fasting because fasting is where you receive your healing. Fasting is where you receive your deliverance, okay? And you may not, um, you may have to fast more than one time in order to receive that deliverance. Back in 2018, that's when my children and I found ourselves homeless and we, was, we uh, began to live in the hotel. Now, 2017 is when I was diagnosed with that heart condition called angina, which means my arteries, I had, my arteries was 80% clogged and I had grave disease. So I had a hyperthyroid, AKA an autoimmune system, leaky gut. Look this stuff up online. And so 2018, I'm on all of this medication, right? Because I had heart attacks from, uh, uh, the hyperthyroid. I don't really believe now, now that I know all this spiritual stuff, I don't really believe the heart attack came from me having a hyperthyroid. I really believe it was the witches in my family sending, okay, um, probably trying to attack my heart and, you know, because I didn't, I wasn't in prayer and I didn't know um, what to rebuke or bind, the enemy was successful at attacking my heart. However, when we were in the hotel, it was one thing that was well, two things I done, okay? Number one, I heard God tell me to stop taking my, my uh, medication. Now, let me say this. I'm not a medical expert. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm sharing my own experiences. I'm sharing my own testimony, my own revelation. I'm not telling you to stop, stop taking your medication, okay? You check with your doctor before you do anything, before you take any of my advice, okay? But I heard God tell me, stop taking your medication. I was on six different medication um, for the angina, the heart condition, and grave disease. And so I said, God, you know I need this medication because I might have another heart attack, right? So God said again, stop taking your medication. So I stopped by faith, right? I stopped by faith, and then I began to um, do as the book 
of Job talks about thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee, right? So I began to decree, you know, um, healing over my body. I began to decree because I went to Google, looked up scriptures on healing and all the scriptures that came up, I turned them into decrees, okay? And so I began to decree, you know, um, I can't remember the scriptures on healing. I know one of them is he heals the broken heart and binds up their wound. I know I decreed that. Um, by his stripes, I am healed. I decree that over my body. So I would say these decrees every single day, speaking speaking God's word, because God's word is healing. God's word is powerful. His word cannot return back to him void. So as I'm speaking healing over my body, his word has to go out and do what the very thing I'm commanding it to do in my body. And so that was 2018. 2019 or, or maybe it was 2020 one of those years um god sent me some money he released some money into my account i said okay thank you lord and I, but i immediately knew what to do with this money um so i went and invested into my health by i went to uh the natural doctors um, and you know, you got to pay out of pocket for that. So as I'm, you know, uh, I invested in my health, um, you know, they do a full body, you know, scan or whatever, or a test. And they, you know, I'm working with them for, for like a year, taking supplements, I'm exercising, I'm reducing my stress by letting go of people out of my life. I'm, um, eating better, not right but i'm eating better right um i say all that to say within a year i no longer had grave disease okay angina because angina the you know mass was 80 percent clogged my arteries it went down to 55 percent okay so when the doctor was telling me you can't reverse this you know they were trying to convince me to just live with 80 percent clawed arteries i said the devil is a lie you don't you don't understand who you're talking to first of all because i'm a, the very thing you tell me i can't do or or can't be done i bet you i'm about to figure it out and show everyone that it can't be done so and i figured it out right um so i say all that to say when we talk about fasting when you have medical issues Fasting is where you're going to receive your healing and deliverance, okay? So you may have to start small, meaning if um, instead of jumping into like a 12-hour fast, you might just need to start at, you know, can you go three hours or four hours straight water? Because fasting is you removing the food, okay? No food. So can you go, how long can you go? Ask yourself, how long can I go without food? That's, that's your starting point. So maybe it's only four hours a day. Okay, so you start at four hours a day. Your God already know what, what you're dealing with and he's gonna meet you right where you are at because God is looking at the heart. He's looking at the heart and your actions is now communicating to God you're serious. And so that's what's gonna accelerate your healing, okay? So you gotta ask yourself, how long can I go without food, right? And then you, after... So let's say it's four hours. After your four hours, okay, um, maybe you don't go right into eating how you were normally eating, but maybe you can just start with, okay, I'm not going to have any meat or I'm not going to have any sugar, okay? You just got to figure out what works for you. When I started fasting, I started fasting uh, from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Um... At that time, I didn't know you had to remove the food. So I was, from from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m., I would um, fast, but my fast consists of just me drinking water and green smoothie juice, okay? Um, and after the fast, I think I just went back to eating whatever, <laughs> but it was still working, okay? Because God looked at my heart, you know, and he still was answering my prayers, okay? But you have to find what is your starting point for you 
Don't allow the enemy to keep you away from fasting. Don't allow the enemy to tell you, well, you can't fast. No, 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 no. I can fast because fasting is where I'm going to receive my healing. Fasting is where I'm going to get down to the root of this spirit of infirmity that's attacking my thyroid or attacking my heart or is uh, attacking me. My pancreas, it got me, you know, as a diabetic, okay, diabetes, right? And so you have to begin to understand you got to look at what you got to look at your medical problems with the spiritual lenses, okay? It's a spiritual issue you're dealing with. Okay? So like how I said, all of those diseases are spirit of infirmities you're dealing with. It's attacking you, okay? So you deal with that, you receive your deliverance in fasting, okay? You receive your healing when you take it to fasting um, and prayer, and like I said, you may not, uh, it may not go away the first time, but you you stay at it. It's just like how we're doing, how we're praying for the prodigal. These stubborn demons don't, they refusing to come out. They stubborn, you know, um, and I always say they get worse before they get better. So, you know, you, you might be hit with some resistance, but you stay on it. You continue to fast. You continue to pray, you know, but after you do that, also, make sure you're doing what you need to do in the physical, eating healthier, or even educating yourself about your condition. Because, like how I said, hypothyroid, um, high cholesterol, you know, um, blood, high blood pressure, all this stuff, you know, you what we need to be learning about is uh, leaky gut, autoimmune, okay, like learn about your autoimmune system there's a man there's a doctor named dr x ox or x i don't know how you pronounce his last name a x e but he's very good um and he teaches on this stuff he you know he breaks all this stuff down um to help us understand why you know all of this sickness and diseases in our body uh he comes from the natural standpoint but again the root is the spiritual okay it's the it's the spirit of infirmity that was that spirit is there because of disobedience okay and so we have to you know you got to deal with that in fasting and prayer we talked about this go back to day three of the fast where we talked about this kind this kind spirit of infirmity only comes out through prayer and fasting all sickness and disease, spirit of, spirit of infirmity, this kind comes out through prayer and fasting. Stay on it, okay? So with that, I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care.